album about by the late rapper which uh premiered which hit the stores on december 7th 1999 it is composed primarily of early recorded verses with newer beats and guest rappers so so basically he, he recorded some songs where he just he just he just a uh, freestyle and they just took his vocals and put them on uh put them on uh new tr on tracks with with different up to, up to date singers like i mean up to date rappers because at the time at the time, this uh, uh, when it, when this album came out, the, uh, the people that you hear on this album were hot at the moment, like uh, like of course like Cash Money, Millionaires, Busta Rhymes, uh, Eminem, and like uh like a uh, Too Short and and like like di like different various people. Okay, like uh, of course like I I like uh, what I like about this album is that that like like uh, they it was well done it was perfectly put together um especially with, with, with songs like um uh, with songs like uh uh big booty hoes or, or like songs like uh would you die for me or like uh like I, I i this is what i really liked about this this album it has th these feet uh like and, and also also the samples are well well put together like songs like would you die for me which is sampled by which is a sample f uh, from uh the song "Kiss" by by Prince. I don't know how they got this sample. It beats the hell out of me how they got this sample because he won't let people. He didn't, when Prince is alive, he didn't let, let nobody sample his shit. And then like a song like the, the uh, one of the, the second the second single off of this album, "Notorious B.I.G." Like F F F Notorious, which was a sample from uh, "Notorious," the song "Notorious" by Duran Duran. Well, like, but man, I love what I like to do. Like uh, the first, like uh, what what's so eerie is that the the, the intro, uh, they uh, somebody asking Biggie what he, like ten years from now where he wanna be. He told me I wanna be chilling with my niggas, smoking mad endo, or uh, chilling with his wife Faith Evans. And like uh, what's so weird is that he never got a chance. Like uh, at the end, he said, if it happens, it happens. If it don't, oh well. Like it, it's like he probably could foresee his death uh, coming. And like uh, that, which is so eerie and so weird. And then like I, I love uh, songs like Notorious B.I.G. And then the third song, Dead Wrong, which he did with Eminem. Man, he 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 murdered that track. He he t completely murdered that track. Like uh, the way the way he put them words together, like the lights and take note while I take tote of the marijuana smoke. Throw you in a choke, gun smoke, gun smoke. Biggie Smalls for mayor, the rap slayer, the hooker layer, motherfucker say your prayer. Man, the way he the way he flows on that album, ah oh, man, it just it just boom, it just gets you, man. And like and like with songs like uh, hope you niggas sleep. I didn't really feel that song, hope you niggas sleep by Cash Money. Uh, the, the only reason why they put they put uh his trap like he never did a song with Cash Money Millionaires. They just they just put uh they just uh, recorded their tracks, their vocals with his because they were hot at the moment. And then I love the song Dangerous MCs. That 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 game show type of beat that, that it has on that song. Oh man, that oh man, that 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 right song that song right there is killer. It like it's featuring Snoop Dogg and Buster Rhymes. They 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 real. Man, that that a beat for that song. Oh man, I love hearing that song. And then track number six, Biggie, featuring all the Junior Mafia. Like uh, what they they was rapping about how they was influenced by him, and how how they uh how they got him uh how uh how they how they, how, they, how Biggie inspired him and all that. And then like with, with tracks like and then tracks like niggas, big booty hoes, what you die for me. Uh, f f uh, featuring Little Kim and Puff Daddy. Uh, I love that song. And then like uh. And then like 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 uh songs like come on, rap phenomenon, and then like uh like rap rap phenomenon, that that that's okay. Like I, I like the way that uh Method Man and Red Man put that song there. And then uh, track number twelve uh, called uh, like a uh, featuring Missy Elliott and Craig Mack and G Dep. I this is one of my favorite songs on here. Like he said, like da da. 
to all my motherfucking man, 50 grand, the alcoholic man, the jack of tall can, and his blood streaming if you can. Vicky Smalls, the pussy stroker, MC provoker, chocolate tie smoker, hey. I like the Maxim Maximus and Acura, your girl butt cheeks, I'm smacking up. Oh man, that, that, that track, it, it, man, I love the feel of that song, and like, Another song I like on here is a song If I Should Die Before I Lake Wake Me Say, What You Expected From This Next to Kin? I'm loco bro, but ain't no Mexican. I got nines in the bedroom, glots in the kitchen. A shoddy by the shotter if you want me, sh if you want to shoot me while I'm shitting. Man, the way he put the words together. Oh man, that, 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 I, that's how I like the song. Then it has the song Who Shot You, which I think is another Tupac, which is like a remix version of uh, Who Shot You. And can I get with you? And then it, it it's uh, it ends with um with a uh, what's her name? Uh, Miss Wallace uh ending it with saying how much of an intro uh, her son was. But like Born Again, this is a very good album. This is a killer album. You know, so I'm like the first time I bought this album, like I went to this uh, Circuit City when I was still out, and like some old black lady didn't sell it to me because I didn't have no ID and I was underage. So, so then she let her mama, she let her bullshit ass mama uh, instincts kick in and it keep me from buying that. But then I, I went across the, uh, across the store to the white man who, who, and he sold it to me with that, with no fuss whatsoever. So fuck that bitch. Okay. But yeah, this one, but I digress. This is one of my favorite albums on this, on this track. No doubt. This is one of my favorite Biggie albums. I used to have the Ready to Die album, but somebody stole it. I'm going to buy that again. But like, this is a, this is a very good album. By uh, Notorious B.I.G.